course, we have been doing a whole lot of that presentations locally and internationally. We have, there has been international, uh, you know, co-productions, synergy to make some of these things work. But you see, Nollywood was an accident. It's just mm. one man, Kenneth Nebwe, who there have been productions of uh, home videos by Yorubas and even Igbos and houses. But Kenneth Nebwe did live in bondage that revolutionized everything in 1992. That's why Nollywood they will start talking about 20 years of a revolution. So you get to, since then, so it was not a coordinated art movement. It at was that born, point, yes, at that point. It was born out of just the genius of one man. And since then, since so Nollywood has been organizing, we've organized ourselves into guilds and associations. We've been making presentations. We've met with World Bank. We've met with the government again and again since 1999. You know, so we've been presenting, trying to let them see the picture. And that's what these 20 years of Nollywood is about. It's not a venture to go and amass money. money. It's about letting the world see the potentials of Nollywood, being able to deliver Nollywood to at least 2 billion eyes around the world, to let them see the magnificent potentials of this industry, to let the organized private, private sector and the government see that. For an industry that started with less than, first film produced with less than 2 million naira, and today we are talking about an industry worth over $3 billion. We talk, you, you will see you will see the potential it's very crystal so 20 years of nollywood it will create a rendezvous for discussion and for a possible you know exploration of business uh, well you know that i am i'm going to be blunt about this you know that the boma has nose for, for nurseries for for money once it sees where money put where there's a potential for for money the boma will take a plunge into it irrespective of the consequences to his person. Now, when, when Living in Bondage was made, people were watching it, trying to understand what this is really about. And when the movie industry producing three films, five films in a week, you know, people sat, stood on the sidewalk trying to take a look at this and be sure where they were going. But not Igbo man. Way far in Onisha, in Aba, they had seen the potentials and they took a plunge. They invested in it and it became a success. That's why you have a whole lot of Igbo people, you know, in um, Nollywood, so it's not they're not really dominating it. I think they have dominated the distribution because they had faith, confident that this will work, and so they invested their money. So you have a whole lot of the distributors coming from the east. But I think rather than thinking that they are being dominated, people should actually give they credit. Can't. They should commend them for the strength. You will not imagine the kind of money they have put into this, you know. Uh, department of the business. Now there may be some reservations, which is what the organized private sector is saying, that Nollywood is a voodoo business, because they can't see the structure, they can't see the books. If you're going to invest in an industry, you want to see how the money is going to go and how it's going to come back. But you see, the Igbo man, yes, invested in it, took, you know, the bold step to invest in it, but you see, the, the, uh, the, the operational system, their business style, is like a mystique. You have to be initiated to be inside to understand how how it plays. Yes, yeah. yeah, since the organized private sector can't understand this, they can't you know they can't invest in Hollywood because it'd be a blind plunge into what they don't really understand. But I give them credit for the investment. But then the distribution, we have to take a second look at it to see how it can become transparent. So that the organized private sector will see it and see the potential that Hollywood has and then invest in it. Now well, there are some possibilities. First, the business uh the market or distributor runs. It's a, it's a limited liability company. He's not obliged to open his book to you, yeah. except it's a quoted, uh, public quoted company. But it's not. But then there are other ways, and that's to get Nollywood structured. If we set up the cinemas, when there are 2,000 people watching film here, the, I mean, you go you to the see, box yeah. office, you mm -hmm. can see it. Mm -hmm. So there's a need to set up cinemas. And they don't have to be magnificent buildings like we have in um, Silverberg, mm -hmm. Galeria. Mm -hmm. They are, you know, what you call uh, cottage cinemas. We can set it around the world. I am glad about what Fashola is doing. 